Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing really well today and happy Friday. Today's video is going to be all about girls. Being a girl, being a woman, and my feminine tips and secrets. If you are in high school or going into college or becoming a woman, this is the video for you. I will be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks that I wish I knew back when I was in high school or when I was just starting off and becoming like a woman. I really wish I had some of these hacks with me. It would have made my life so much easier. So if you want to see what they are, just keep watching. Two tips. If you guys are new to my channel, I post new videos every week and I'd love for you guys to join the family. All you gotta do is hit that red subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started and show you what these tips, tricks, and hacks that would have made my life so much easier. Here we go. The first thing I want to show you guys is these gel sticky bralettes. They're basically called chicken cutlets. I don't know why people call them that, but they're basically these sticky bras I wish I had when I was in high school. It's also great if you're wearing something that's strapless. This is great. I actually wore this under my wedding dress and it stayed on all day. It was super sticky. It lifted everything up and it was just a really nice comfortable feeling. Also another tip you guys can do with this if you want more fuller boobs you can always stick this on and then put your bra on if you really want that like extra lift and it's totally up to you and guys if you're watching this and you're like oh that's fake I don't care this video is not for you this is for the ladies out there who want to feel confident they are lifesavers when it comes to like prom or going out or if you're going for a date these chicken cutlets are amazing. Another thing I want to show you guys are these soft silicone nipple covers these come in super handy especially if you're wearing just tank tops and you don't want to wear a bra these are amazing I bought these at La Vie en Rose they're just like these little sticky nipple covers and you just pull the plastic piece off stick them on your nipples put on your tank top or whatever and you don't see nipples popping through you know what I mean so that really really helps and I love these now we're gonna talk about shaving if you are going to be shaving one of the best hacks I can give you and I wish I knew this back in the day is sanitize the area so if it's your armpit or if it's your legs or if it's somewhere that you know it's prone to ingrown hairs use a little bit of witch hazel to cleanse the area before shaving. Another tip I can tell you is using a conditioner to help shave. I personally think that's like a thing I would use if I didn't have shaving foam. I think shaving foam is definitely way better than conditioner. It really depends on your skin type, but my skin likes shaving foam. It's just more luxurious, it's more nourishing than conditioner. And sometimes depending on certain conditioners, it can make the ingrown hair worse, if you know what I mean. If there's oils in the conditioner, it can kind of seep in. So just be careful with whatever you're using. Everyone's skin is different. So those are some tips when it comes to shaving. Next, we're going to talk about body care. And the one thing that I have to tell you guys, if you want super supple, hydrated, beautiful skin all over, not just your face, you need to get exfoliating gloves. These gloves I think are from Clean Logic and I bought them at HomeSense. I think they were like $5.99. I've been using these guys for like six months and they're amazing. Amazing. I just put them on when I'm in the shower and I put my body wash in the glove directly, suds it up really well so it's super foamy and bubbly and then just scrub my body. Gently, not super hard or harsh because if you do that too much, you get dry skin. You wanna do this every maybe two to three days. Start with twice a week and then see how your skin progresses, but my skin loves this and honestly, when my friends like give me hugs and they touch my skin, they're like, Jen, your skin is so soft. These gloves are the reason why my skin is super soft and supple all the time. And I do use these very often, but make sure when you do use them, you dry them completely. So I just like hang them on like the shower, just like the rod, so that they're completely dry for next use. Now let's talk about down there care. And I know a lot of people in my last video was like saying, oh, if you can't say the word vagina, then it's bad. It's not that I don't wanna say the word vagina. I get it, I understand. I'm not trying to say that it's a bad word or whatever. I just prefer the word down there. It's just more comfortable and it rolls off the tongue. 
my video, my words. So back on track when it comes to down there, I always like having a peri bottle. And you can buy these off Amazon. They're super cheap and they're just like these bottles you can fill warm water up with and then you just spray. When I travel, I always bring one of these with me. I don't know why, it's just easier if I'm like out and about and something happens or you know your period comes and you need to like really clean down there a peri bottle definitely helps so i just fill this up with like warm water and then spray 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 back spray 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 wipe down and then you feel so much better along with that i do also love having tux personal cleansing pads these are biodegradable when flushed these are awesome let's say you're at the gym or let's say you're somewhere you're traveling and you're out all day and you get to a washing but you're not at the hotel or you can't get home soon these travel wipes are so good i mean i have these at home and i use them all the time too so it's just nice to feel really clean and fresh down there i highly recommend the tux i also bought these off amazon they are amazing they're just witch hazel pads and a lot of um posts pregnant women use these too because it helps with cleansing and it's very nice and gentle and it's cooling which is the best part. The next thing I want to show you guys is how to be prepared for your period because sometimes we don't know exactly when it comes it's nice to have everything with you. For me I love having a little kit this is just like a sage kit it's a post-workout kit it's obviously not that because inside is all of my tampons my pads and my liners and it's just nice to have i bring this with me when i travel i bring this with me when i know i'm going to get my period and it's just nice to know you know you're just like oh i feel safe if anything happens i got everything here so that is a lifesaver i wish i thought about this when i was in high school the next tip is a beauty tip and a lot of you guys have asked me in the past how do you get rid of peach fuzz? Because let me tell you, I do have a lot around my chin area here and along the sides of my face. And if you're the same, get a face razor. I bought these at Daiso, which is like a Japanese dollar store. And it's just amazing. I, I got three and I think this thing was like $2. You definitely want to be careful when you use these. They are sharp and there are tons of tutorials on how to remove peach fuzz hairs. And it's just about being very gentle and going the right way when you are removing peach fuzz hairs. So always make sure you put it in the safety thing after you're done. Once you're finished razoring your face from the peach fuzz, make sure you use a little bit of witch hazel or a bit of toner to help just not get any ingrown hairs because that can happen if you just do this and put moisturizer on you might get ingrown hairs you want to let it breathe and you definitely want to put something over it that helps disinfect any open areas or pores another tip i wish i knew in high school is that when you're on your period try not to drink too much coffee limit your caffeine because caffeine actually bloats you and makes you more dehydrated if you don't know that already that's a tip for you just keep drinking water lemon water things that are clear and that doesn't have caffeine you can always try decaf or decaf teas i love decaf teas like rooibos and lemon ginger tea and there's one from trader joe's it's called ginger turmeric freaking love that tea it's so amazing so there's lots to choose from if you're on your period do yourself a favor and limit your caffeine intake the next tip i want to talk to you guys about is iron levels a lot of women do have low iron levels whether it's because they lose a lot of blood when they're on their period or they just naturally don't have enough a lot of my friends also have low iron levels and this is something you can just get easily checked with the blood test you can go to your doctor you can just check your iron levels just to be safe one thing my doctor did recommend to me was taking iron pills and that's really great because it helps with fatigue so if you do have low iron you're probably tired you're fatigued you're probably quite sleepy you don't have a lot of energy so if you feel those sorts of things I mean those are very generic things and it doesn't mean anything and you might have perfect iron levels and that's great but if you don't you can supplement or you can try eating more healthier foods like spinach kale and things that have lots of iron in them now one thing I didn't know about 
iron is that when you take calcium, so let's say milk or dairy, and you have those together, the calcium actually slows down the absorption of iron. So you don't want to take iron and calcium things together. Um, one thing that you can do to help absorb iron even better is vitamin C. So having maybe an orange or a small mandarin or some sort of citrus fruit. That is just the one thing there. If you guys are supplementing, keep that in mind. Moving right along, let's talk about magic bags. I never even knew what a magic bag was in high school. My mom just gave me hot water bottles. I mean, those things scalded my skin and I never had a cover over it. So it was more like just underneath the blanket and then it was too hot and then it was too cold and it was never the right temperature but magic bags are amazing I didn't actually know about them until Jeff told me to buy one and now I can even live without it so I've had this guy for probably five years these are just filled with I believe it's rice inside and it's a cloth and you put it in the microwave you put it on for like a minute and then you apply it to your abdomen or if you're having a headache on your head I find that this size is the best size because it just like wraps over your body if you do have cramps which probably a lot of you do if you are on your periods these things help so so much and the last tip I'm going to share with you guys is granny panties when it comes to periods as many of you guys know I don't really like using tampons just because I don't feel like something should be in my body for that long of a period or those cups I know a lot of you guys had sent in your feedback and your advice on using like the diva cup or whatever that thing is to stick up I just don't like foreign things in my body I just don't like that feeling and that's just personal to me and if it works for you that is amazing and I'm glad it works but I normally use pads and the underwear that I use are high-waisted these are amazing because they help with any bloating and they kind of just suck everything in and you feel a lot better you feel lighter you don't feel like you're enlarged and big and bloated so this one I got it's it's called yummy by Heather Thompson and they're huge i know you're like whoa jen those are massive but when you have your period and it's heavy it's nice to have something that will cover your bum it will cover any like leaks that might happen and also when i get my period i always wear long t-shirts or long sweaters oversized coats you can't really see the line on the jeans or the tights or whatever that i'm wearing so it doesn't matter i also have these ones from love me on rose these are black i have about 10 pairs of these they have a huge band at the top which helps with any sort of bloating or discomfort you might feel in your lower abdomen so big granny underwear come and get me because I am all about these things I am NOT ashamed to wear them at the age that I am now comfort is honestly the biggest thing for me everything else you can fall behind and that's it for today's feminine tips and secrets if you guys want to see more videos like this one and if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and comment below and let me know what other videos you guys want to see on the channel I know being a girl is tough becoming a woman is even tougher but let me tell you I believe in you you are strong capable and you can do anything you put your mind to so just make sure you remember that I love you guys thank you so much for tuning in every week and I'll see you all very soon in my next one. Bye for now!